Hello, I'm Audio. This is my glorious channel. Um, we are now in Yamamoto Isoroku's route officially. Um, you can see down here in the bottom right, I guess the icon changed. So now you know it's a Rance if route, it's not the official route. Um, and you know, we talked to 3G in the last part, and we've basically got to wait for his go, you know? He's doing some stuff, we're waiting on him, you know, to progress the story, and you pretty much you gotta do that you can't do much else um so that's that's what i'm doing i mean <laughs> you know like i said i don't have a choice so i'm kind of just waiting uh we can do this um i don't know i think it's the scene i don't i don't remember um actually yeah yeah but, um, anyway, I have another scene, too, and I don't know if I should say it. Well, it's it's a, it's a the good medicine scene with all three of the reinforcements from Zeth. That popped up while I was blown through Akashi, and I have to throw that in one of the videos. Um, so it, it might be in this one at the end. Um, it depends if Hanoji takes place. If Hanoji happens, I'm not going to have it in there. So, that's how that goes. Um, I don't like this scene at all. <laughs> not at all, really, so... Now you know. Um, and I guess Rance scolds or is not like, you shouldn't be tricked by such a thing. You should know better than that. Well, it's not like, you know, it's not like it was some random person. It was her good friend. Rance is her good friend. And, you know, he's screwing around. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this in uh, True Route, but Takuga, they spawn, like, there's a certain time limit where they will spawn, but... You know, that's mostly because of the demon army doing stuff with Hojo. Um, if you get close to them at all, they'll spawn. So, that's how they work. It's, it's, it's pretty hard to start bothering them. You know, like, it's not possible to get Shikoku before Takuga spawns. You can't do that. They'll always force it. But, um, that Mori territory, that might be possible. Um... I haven't tried that myself. I haven't tried to, like, really, you know, like, why am I gonna blitz Takuga? You know, I'm not. I don't care that much. But it's it's likely possible to go and get that, um, minor Mori territory from Mori before Takuga does. And I don't know if they would take it from you then, or what would happen. So, yeah. But I guess Anoji's happening now. It's, uh... It, it throws it at you, you know? It's not you don't... You don't trigger it, but it's nowhere near as hard. Like, you don't have to worry about this. Um, you don't have to be prepared for it like you did for the one in True Route. I mean, in True Route, you've got to fight Ren Goku in his, I guess, other form. The Apostle's real form, his true form. And he's much, much harder. Um, that doesn't happen in this route, I guess. Is that spoilers? I don't think that's... That's not spoilers. Oh, yeah, and, you know, Kenshin's here, too. Um, and if Ron were here, if I happened to possess her and this was happening, she would have a bit of dialogue as well, you know? All three of the heroines do that, and I'm pretty sure every route. You know, if you've got them, they have they have some input. Um, so, I mean, that's cool. I You know, it's just kind of weird sometimes, like... You know, if you don't use Isoroku at all in True Route, and she's just like, Oh yeah, I'm here to help! Okay. So is everybody else. <laughs> Why are you here, you know? Like, she's not that important if you don't allow her to be important, you know? Like, her especially. Like, Kenshin's always important, but whatever. This fight's happening, sort of. Well, sort of. I mean, you'll see. You'll see the events play out. Oh, Shikibu is not, you know, she, she exists, I think, but she's kind of unique. Um, she's in this route, but, you know, you never see her true form in any route either. I should mention that. But, uh, yeah, Kentaro is also in this route. He's also important in Isoroku's route. Um, you know, I mean, he's... <laughs> He's staring up Ren Goku a little bit here. Uh, so yeah, 
but of course if they have if they found Kentaro and you know he's in here with the Apostle how did he find out about this you know well he came into contact with Sagan so now you know that Sagan is present as well um, it's kind of it's kind of a given so But yeah, Rengoku's kind of shit in every route. Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, this is still the event. I mean, it's just gonna be a while with Kentaro here. And I skipped their events, you know, throughout. I didn't really hit on it at all because it's not that big of a deal. But you know, like Kentaro was fighting against me with Uesugi, and you know, then. He went to Iga or some bullshit. I don't know what he was doing, but he was around, you know. Like, he's always around. Kentaro is always in pre-routes, you know. You always see him, you always fight him. Because he's such an important character in many routes, they establish him. Like, oh, this is Kentaro. You beat him. He's terrible. Cool. Now we can introduce him later in a main story thing, and it's not totally retarded. So that's what's going on there, right? I probably mentioned that in True Route, but, yeah. Yep, I don't really, you know, to be totally honest, I'm not, I don't remember flawlessly how all of these uh, commander battles play out. Uh, the one here on Hanoji or the ones at, toward the end of the game, I just don't recall. Um, I do remember them being significantly easier than in True Route, though. And, uh, yeah. I won't have to advise much. <laughs> but, um, you know, obviously this route has no, likely has no weight at all in Rand's quest, simply because Koime has died, you know, and she's in Rand's quest. So, you know, I mean, Kenshin's route would have more bearing over Rant's quest than this one. And Nanjo Rans would have much, much, much less. So, I guess I'll put that out there now. But, yeah, this is the fight. Um, you gotta... Whoops. I don't even know if you need Rance. I'm just sending him out because it's intelligent, you know? Um, Uriza, you're gonna see how good she is. Um, Suzume. Cats, is he really one of the best things I have right now? Hell no, he's not. Um, yeah, I don't really have that many good commanders. You don't need that many for this, though, either. I mean, I should mention that, but I guess a guard, cats can go. There we are. It's not like this is really hard. Look at his health. Just come here, deal with it. You're good to go. I mean, I had Kentaro as a commander as well. I probably could have brought him. I maybe should have, but I recall his level being very low. Um, so that's why I didn't bring him. And I have people like Kenshin and Rance here who are more than capable. Honestly, you shouldn't have any problems with this. Uh, yep. I don't know. As far as how much I like it, though, like, it's cool. Uh, I don't know. It's... I can't really weigh it over the other battles with Xavier at Hanoji. Um, because I would be spoiling other routes. But. Oh well. I like True Route the most. I like the interactions with Xavier and True Route the most. That's important, I guess. That's the most important thing. So. Now you know that. You think about that, though, in the Ranceverse, there are only two demon-slaying weapons. That's pretty shitty for humanity. I mean, that's pretty lame. And I have to comment on this, too, because this is probably the last time Rance will do it. Whenever he talks about Ko, they, like, throw the additive, Oh, and her virginity, and it's like, I don't like that. That annoys the hell out of me. You know, because, you know, it makes, it lessens Rance's good guy effect. Like... Did he do this for her, or did he do it for for himself, basically, you know? So I don't like that, and that's another reason I don't care for this route as much, because he's, he does that a lot in this route, <laughs> you know? It's 
Maybe it's said to lessen the seriousness of the situation, but I just find it agitating. Um, you know, so that's how that goes. But you know, you could see Isoroku there, she was totally involved, you know, she said watch out, so... You know, you can really tell that this is her route and she's really... <laughs> she's really coming into play here as an important character. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. It's, it just seems like more of a Koei Maze Dead route than a Yamamoto Isoroku route. Sometimes. Right now it certainly does. That'll change. But, uh... Kentaro makes the same mistake, um, as before. He ruins everything. Not a big surprise. <sighs> but, you know, basically what just happened there, um, a little raid ran in to kill the leader of Oda House. Um, that's kind of a big deal, so, you know... You got, you know, any country that you're from, take the leader. A group of teenagers or whatever the hell you want. Insert a group of, you know, and then anything. Like, they go in there, kill the leader, because they knew he was a bad guy. But everyone else didn't? Guess who's in trouble, you know? <laughs> so, Oda's not in a good way at the moment. Um... Though that's actually more of an issue in uh, in in Ron's route, that it's much more of an issue there. But it's still an issue in this one, and uh, you know, it's important to re remember that none of the other country, none of the other clans in the game, know about Nobunaga. You know, none of them knew about it. I don't even know how many of them know about Koei Mei dying. They don't. They might go over that, but I just don't remember it. You know. But they comment on the things. They comment on what's taking place. So. Well, when I say they, I mean like, you know, the goddamn Asaya Sakura family is not going to say shit because they're because they themselves are shit. But Takeda is going to have some interaction and Mori's going to have some interaction. It's going to be kind of a big deal. Um. Also, I should mention, if you go into Isoroku's route, it's a really terrible route to do the One-Eyed House. Um, you don't want to do that because almost all of their character clears and a lot of really cool story events are tied to Masamune and Omachi and Ko, you know? Um, so that's my advision. If you're going to take out One-Eyed House, do not do it in this route. Um, yeah. Now this comedy, I appreciate this text. This is more appropriate, you know. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, enjoy that. I, I enjoyed what... You know, I liked Nobunaga. I wish he was more of a character in every route. You know, you're like, oh, you can do the kill the monkey route, but then you get this CG picture of Nobunaga, and he just says the same thing every turn. That's not very cool. He's really cool, but he's not present ever, you know? That sucks. Because I liked him. He was a cool guy. But, uh... Yeah, basically these notes are explaining the point of this route now. Um... So you know. But, I mean, Nobunaga leaves that message about coming back as a ghost from Ko, and that is basically canon, because he had that written, you know? Um... Though, no one necessarily found it in True Route, it was still written, you know, it, it exists in True Route. So, maybe we'll see him as a ghost in Rand's Quest. Of course, I'm sure it's intended as mostly a joke. It would be hilarious to see him as a ghost. Um, yeah. But, to summarize, the goal of... Isoroku's route is for Rance, who is now the head of Oda, to procreate, leave a half-Japanese heir for Oda, and that's the leader. That's the new leader of Oda. It's Rance's job to create that. Um, and that's what's going on. And, you know, think of how perfectly that works out for Isoroku. You know? Like, that's why it's her route, because that's, that's pretty good. 
She just inherits two whole clans if she has a kid. Um, but we all know about Rance's issue, and like he, he doesn't want kids. Rance does not want children, and he's got a, you know, no one else knows about the thing that Syl cast on him, except Rance and Syl, you know. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next part. <laughs>